Hey guys, and welcome to an Emma Watson makeup tutorial. So, this is a look I wanted to do for a long time from Watson as well. This is the People Tree look um, that was worn during People Tree shoot, um, which features it in the catalogue and stuff. So, again, it's a very simplistic look. Again, it's a natural look that doesn't really appear on the photos, on the photos in the catalogue. Um, but I've gathered some footage from behind the scenes and some pictures from behind the scenes and I've kind of gathered this look. So, it's a very minimalistic look and I'll run through it really quick because it won't take more than 10 minutes. It shouldn't take more than 10 minutes. So, for my face, I've used um, Avon's Ideal Shade Light Makeup in Ivory. Great great um, foundation because it's 3 in 1. It's a brightening primer. It's a brightening lotion. It's a primer and it's foundation so it's really good. I would really invest in this and it's only like 8 pounds or something. So it's really cheap for a foundation which does a lot of stuff. So apply your foundation to your T-zone, cheeks um, and your chin if you need it. Uh, powder. Again I'm using an Avon Ideal Shade in Fair and what you want to do with this is take a huge big brush, if I can, here, huge big fluffy brush, and just on your jawline, chin, other jawline, and round your neck. That's all you need for powder. Um, I prime my eye with the usual primer, Urban Decay, and I'm going to start with my eyebrows now. Usually, I would brush out my eyebrows first, but I lost my eyebrow brush because my makeup is all over the place. So, um. Just luckily, this one is pretty tame, so it's good. And what you want to do this is Avon's Glimmer Stick Brow Definer in dark brown. And for Emma, this is always her eyebrows are always like her main feature. I'm just obsessed with her eyebrows, just the most beautiful eyebrows I've ever seen. But what you want to do is put a square start to the eyebrow, make it square, or as square as you possibly can without making it look really stupid. And then just fill in the contours of fill in your eyebrow and make it make the body of it quite thick and then a teeny little tail at the end. But again, follow your natural eyebrow. Don't don't um create anything that you don't really have. What you want to do with your eyebrows is kind of emphasize what you've got. Okay, once you're happy with that, I've already primed my eye with the Urban Decay Primer, and I'm going to start off with a uh, fluffy blending brush, and I'm using my Mac Factor Earth Spirits 101 Pale Pebble. This is just a base eyeshadow. This should match your skin tone, or it should be close to the tone of your skin or the color of your skin. And you want to apply that all over the eyebrow, right up to the brow and below and on the lower lid as well. Just apply this until you're happy with the shade that you've got. Okay, next, stick with the stick with the fluffy brush. And I'm using Rimmel London's Color Rush um, in number 30 Smoky Quartz. And this is basically a warm brown color. And this is, it comes off quite easily on the brush. So what you want to do is you want to apply it all over your eye, all over the top lid, right up to the brow bone, just following where you put your uh, base color. And you want to put that all over. And then sticking with this brush, put it on the lower lid, lower lid, but only halfway through. And then just link it up to the top, to the top colouring. This should be quite dark. It should go into the inner corner as well. Then, once you're happy with that, take a thin brush 
And for this, I'm using, for the darker colours, I'm using Barry Ann's Dazzle Dust in number 53. It has a, huge, a big 53, and then underneath it's like a small 947 or something. But it's number 53. And it's a dark brown, it's dark chocolate brown. And Dazzle Dusts are quite expensive, but they're worth it because the colours are just amazing. But be careful when you use them because they literally are dust, so they will just go everywhere with the slightest breeze. And what you want to do with this colour is put it on the outer corner only. Outer corner on your top lid only. And you want to make it as dark as you can. If you've made any harsh edges or any mistakes, just go back in, clean off the fluffy brush and just go back in and blend it off. Then what you want to do, close up your bar I am. And then you're going in with a black eyeliner. This is the Liquid Eyeliner by Avon. It's perfect wear in black. And what you want to do with this is basically follow the dark brown that you've just applied. It's basically just on the outer corner. There's a thin line. Doesn't matter if it's really that messy. Doesn't really matter if it looks if it looks silly because you're going back in immediately again with the dark brown color. And what you want to do is you want to mix it with the eyeliner. So th this is why liquid eyeliner is a really good idea for this. I just apply it over the black. And blend it into the eye. Okay. Once you're happy with that, close up your bar I am and you're ready for your mascara. The mascara I'm using is Avon Super Shock. This is really good. It's the same kind of brush as Max Factor uses. It's the rubber bristles. And it's a really good formula. It's a really big brush and really big balls. So you get a lot of formula in this. And you want mascara on both your lids, both sets of lashes. But pay more attention to the top lid, the top lashes. You want more emphasis on them. This would be a good look for interviews, if you have a job interview, or a work look, or whatever. This is a really simple, minimalistic look that you can wear absolutely anywhere. Okay, and that's the makeup look done. For the um, I've got the nail varnish here. It's not the exact nail varnish that we used in the shoot. I don't know what exact nail varnish we used in the shoot. But it is pretty close to the colour that I'm wearing. And it is Rimmel London um, Pro Professional Finish in number 400 Blue Vogue. And this is, I've got it on now. It's really nice, really shiny. And especially with the huge big brush that they've got out now, it's like a maxi brush. It's really thick, thick brush. So it's really good for that. And this is basically the same colour, it's basically the same colour that we use in the shoot. So that's the People Tree makeup tutorial done. I hope you enjoyed it. And stay tuned for more on Watson Makeup Tutorials this week. See you soon. Bye.